So, I am back, and all I changed was a couple of weapons. Uh, for the primary weapon, instead of using the scutter, I am using the needle gun. It's like this, actually. I, I always wanted to try that one out. It looks really fun, though, not gonna lie. It looks really compact, but it doesn't really have a lot. I have like 120 rounds. But I feel like it will do decent damage. Um, for the right shoulder weapons, I have these two. I have two Predator missiles, basically. And I'm very excited to actually use them, because I, always, I actually always wanted to use them. Now, now the opportunity popped up, and of course I'm going to keep using the Songbirds, because they're actually really good. Uh, other than that, there's nothing else for me to do here. Uh, this home looks familiar. Ah, I don't know. Uh, so yeah. I already have the best helmet in the game, which is this one here, the Veril. It's actually a really good chest you know, like helmet. Um, that's super heavy. I like to use this, but. Damn, it'll make you really heavy. I like to stay mobile, so that's the reason why I'm using like medium weighted uh, stuff. The Wrecker though? Kinda decent though, I'm not gonna lie. But it uh, look really stupid in process. Mm, we have the Termes, we have this. We have the Mine Alpha. Hmm. Gener generator output adjustment generator supply adjustment. Yo, this thing is actually pretty sick. The mine alpha is actually better, but eh. I kind of want to use the different gloves because these gloves right here, they're, they they look ugly. I'm gonna be honest, they are very ugly. Should I use mine alpha? It's actually not that bad, all things considered. Uh, I can go ahead and use the Fermeza instead. Yeah, I, mm, actually no, <laughs> I won't use the God damn it! I'm always clicking the wrong button. Or you should use the two arms, because most of the rat stuff is actually pretty decent. But, yeah, this destroys my armor. Or my HP, actually. AP is... Uh, it, I think it's abbreviation for armor points, if I remember correctly. Resilience of the part. The AP value, yeah. It's armor points, but I call them HP. Mm. First of all, I'm not going for the extremely lightweight type of thing. So these arms are just perfect for literally everything. And this one is actually pretty good because it gives me like good amount of jump distance and jump height, which makes me stay mobile in air and down below. This is the booster. This is that. Keep. I'm gonna keep using this engine because it's actually really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's just do it. This is gonna be the end of chapter two, actually, and. I'm I'm actually thinking about 
changing. Actually, you know what? Nah, that's just sorty. If I die, I die. Once you look at that, our our uh, our wife in our head is appreciating us. Oh, very cute. They died a very horrible death. I mean... So yeah... <laughs> I mean, I'm 100% sure most of these guys who actually try to go through the laser grid of death, they were definitely very coked up up to Bolivian so what I do recommend just drop down here through this hole you can actually avoid the entire uh, top area so just do that don't be like me I I never got the groove to how to dodge these things. Ooh. There you go. I got it somehow. Dum da 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 dum. I just noticed that uh, the skip that. Yeah, I just noticed that the needle gun has only five shots. Mm, I'm already regretting everything right there. <laughs> Here it is. Ah, you cunt. Hmm. Yeah, pile bunker for life. Go up ahead of the drones. So what I do recommend, again, mobility and speed is the name of the game here. Ow, oh my god. That's not going well. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's what I like to see. Oh come on. It's taking off. This could be some good R and D data. Come on. 
God, I love this. It's so satisfying. Come on, big boy. For this move, try to be in the air. Ow. Oh my god, this thing's almost dead. Yes! Kaboom! Hell yeah. By the by, on my first playthrough, this boss caused me so much trouble. It took me like like two hours tops to beat it until I realized like having a, the pile bunker literally was very game changing. So use pile bunker on it. Trust me, you won't regret it. People underestimate melee weapons in this game. They are really powerful, and I'm glad that they are powerful. So, let's get launched into the sky. Brace yourself. By the way, tourist. Your Walter's helped, right? can't choose its master but still tough luck I feel sorry for you I really do oh and one more thing you know the cargo launcher strictly for cargo right themselves before, at least not in one piece. You see it too, don't you? The voices of the coral. Currents coursing across Rubicon. Walter was correct in his judgment. Here, in this desolate place. And thus, it concludes. Chapter 2. Man, this is, this is, this is way too short, man. <laughs> this chapter 2 is really short.
You know what's going to happen. Business as usual. But you can make it work for us. Raven, I've been looking into the integration program, and I turned up something interesting. It looks like Online's been gathering data on new craft no one even knows about yet. I've installed a back door. How about taking a peek, Raven? New craft data has been added to analysis in the arena. Oh! Okay. Looks like we have new stuff. Which was, which, which was the arena. And I cannot show you what's inside the arena. Because it's, it's a bit spoilery. Because the new data that I got is, is extremely spoiler heavy. <laughs> and I do not want to show you that yet. So, in that regard, uh, yeah, we have this, which starts chapter 3. You know what? Let's, let's start the chap uh, chapter 3 already, because, you know, why not? And I'm gonna change up the weapons. The active home mis homing missile thingy. This one, it, it's not good. I no, it's not good. I'm gonna keep the drones. Sunbirds, they're staying. The pile bunker stays. And for the primary, I think I'm gonna go with linear rifle instead. Actually, I'm gonna go with the burst rifle. It's more funnier. Okay. Let's start chapter three. Got a job for you, six two one. It's a request from one of the Balaam companies. Attention, Gun Thirteen Raven. This job comes from our subsidiary Dafa. The operation will take place in the central ice fields, Yalmar Mine. We want you to stage an attack on the Ark of the Survey Camp located there. After digging into the ice field, Archippus launched survey drones to gather data. Whatever they found is sure to contain clues as to the whereabouts of the Coral Convergence. Put simply, your job is to seize the data. We're counting on you, Gun 13. Let's... Screw up, Archibus. I don't. I don't like Archibus. As I said, <laughs> I'm. I know I'm gonna regret my words, but I think Balaam looks cooler in that regard. Archibus looks very stuck up in their own ways. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these. I can repeat the briefing. Yeah. Six two one. Are you still here? Walter, I told you before, I'm not taking the pills. The wife in my brain stays. God damn it. How are you not dead? There you go. Good lord. Retrieval, 
no major change in values compared to readings recorded in the Belius region, likely to be, to be cinders from the fires of Ibis. Inert coral reading make up 80% of total. Analysis under wave of the remaining 20%. By the way, a little lore tidbit, the Fires of Ibis was this grand... It wasn't really a catastrophe, it's more like... It was like a huge incident where the whole planet was engulfed in flames. That's the Fire Ibis, it happened like a half a century ago in this game. So that what the Fire of Ibis is all about. And because of the fire ibis, this kind of thing actually stuck around as some like a tiny residual thing to it. Aim, please. Thank you. I gotta grab that. There we go. Uh, sonar's picking up something strange. Whatever it is, you can't miss it. Some kind of massive cave, perhaps. How could there be activity underneath this vast sheet of ice? Very interesting. I'll make a copy of this. Can you actually fall down there? Hold on, I want I want to see if it's actually possible. Ah, nope. Do okay. Uh, I fucked around and found out. Very well. Let's jump up and go. By the way, this boy right here is a uh, what the hell? He's a another battle log, so don't be afraid to kill it. Nope. Some birds. There we go. Drones are out, and... And this is how you get the battle log. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, yeah, let's grab the objective over there. Come on, excess. There we go. Most of these... Inst Installations appear to have been built by the Planetary Closure Administration after the fires of Ibis. Uh, they must have been made redundant by the subsequent completion of the closure system. That said, with that bit of elbow grease, we might be able to repurpose these old ruins. Well, there you know it better than I do. Dude, what the hell? That one's dead. Oops. Go, drones. You can do it. Why is it reloading so low, so fa uh, so slow? There it goes. Our video data of the ocean region has a noticeable gap. Stranger still, this hole in our records remains regardless of how many drones we send. What's going on here? Some kind of camera interference? Ow, dude.
Can you boost? Let, let, watch me one shot this. I'll take my words back. Just kick it away like that. <laughs> Thank God the pile bunker doesn't have ammo. Amen to that. Destroy some small fleas. Ooh, a resupply. Look at that. Yeah, the door were open. Just jump over it. Yep, that's me. Sound, what do you mean? Oh my god! Ow! Trying. I mean, it's an AC, of course it's fast. Oh, come on, what a bad stun. Boom, one's down. Oh, look at those snipers up there, man. They're a little bit too cocky. Oh no, I don't have the juice. Brother, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna go beeline to the to the to the thing. Come on. Mm. There you go. Let's go down. Boom. There it goes.
Look at that, we are in huge trouble now, the space police is here, yes, I call the PCA the space police because corporations got a little too excited as per Handle Walter's description, so to say. So, yeah, that's where we are right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're screwed. from the Vespers. Haven't talked since we climbed the wall. Uh, I'd love to catch up, but I'll cut to the chase. The PCA has deployed its suppression fleet. And now it's laying down the law all over Rubicon. We've already lost several survey bases, and Balaam's in a sorry state too. For their part, the Rubicon Liberation Front sees this as an opportunity. Now, if you ask me, they're counting their eggs before they're hatched. At this rate, the corpse, the Rubiconists, and the independent mercs will go down together. I'm sending you a request from the Archivist Group. We could use the Wall Climbers' help. I see you got a call from V4. I've been contacted as well by the Balaam group. It seems both sides have been forced to halt the Coral Survey. Check the briefing, 621. Raven. I've also picked up a job for you. It's not just the corporations who have their eye on you. The Rubiconians do too. Following the PCA's attack, the Rubicon Liberation Front has established a division in the Central Ice Field. This job comes from their commander. Whew. Sounds very exciting. We have a decision to make. Ooh, okay. Look at that. And we have these two missions here as well, which we can go ahead and tackle. But that's gonna be for the next episode. Yeah, it's a little bit anticlimactic. We finished chapter 2 and started chapter 3. But... Oh, I I only have so much time, like, yeah, so anyway, thank you everybody so much for joining me today, subscribe, comment, and like, and also be sure to check out my Twitter down in the description below, other than that, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a fantastic day.